Welcome back to Dora Studios. We are going to start working on this U.S. Ranger. Been wanting to start on this guy for a while. I'm ready to do it. Memorial Day here in the U.S. of A. So I figure I'd try to get as much of this guy done as I can today. Glasses. Let's start by doing his skin. Let's zoom in here. Maybe uh, reach a mile across this table. Uh, and that stupid light is touching my wonderful hat. Okay. <laughs> um, is that going to work? As long as I keep it up here, it's be all right. I need to do that trick I did last time. The only problem is I got a couple guys on that. Oh, no. I got a couple of these Warlord uh, Games Indians that I'm building. They're not completely done yet, but they're getting there. Had them sitting on this little thing that I used to keep me from lowering my hands too much, which is paint brush cleaner. I think if I put that right there, it'll keep me from going down too far. It worked last time. Weird little things I gotta do to keep myself from. Uh, yeah, I'm not prepared, am I? And I just wouldn't be normal if I was. Oh my god, it blew that hard and stuff <laughs> didn't even come off. Uh, I can't really. My breathing is terrible, so. I'm trying to blow on anything. Not really successful. Alright. You know, dust and grass and stuff out of there. Needed a new one. This one's pretty well used. Go get another one. Wash that one. We'll just start fresh here. I'm gonna put tan flesh on this guy to start with. See if we can get the ball rolling. I've had a hard time getting going today. YouTube's obviously got it like a shadow ban on me or something because nobody's viewing anything I put out. Usually I at least get on my shorts, I get tons of views, but I'm not getting anything. So. Not very motivational, I tell you that. It's the fact that I work six days in a row and I'm not at all healed up <laughs> any of that usually takes a day or two to get really back into swing of things okay let's get this tan flesh going now that stuff looks runny i got some skeleton bone surface primer Stuff looks really runny in there. I don't like Vallejo primer very much. So I'm not expecting a whole lot out of that. Also got a bone white game air. I need to put on the reference sheet. I'm gonna save it till I get some more. I probably won't be using it anytime soon, so let's let it go. Okay. Next up. He's ready to rock and roll. Yeah, it's going on real good with that layer of skeleton bone on there. It's showing up nicely. Tan flesh is a pretty good paint, though, for Army Painter. It's 
really thick, good stuff. One of their better ones from the original batch, in my opinion. It's not a runny, weird, jelly mess. Like a lot of their other ones are. Or thing of the past now, probably. They're still selling them. Eventually they'll be all gone. Sure, that'll be a long time. Uh, I have a lot of pain out there in the world to go through before it's only fanatic. I don't know how long Ari Painter's been around making paint, but it's probably been a while. I'm already doing what I didn't want to do. Cover's really good. Cover up that grenade and we'll worry about that later. I can just paint it with a nice green color when I get to it. It won't make a bit of difference. The first guy I've done with a shotgun, so that would be cool. Figure out what's wood and what's metal. Looks like it's pretty basic. Cool looking shotgun. Alright. There's our fleshy parts. All done. Not done, but first layer at least. Let's do the helmet now. Um, this is US dark green. Really who US dark green? up. You can see like a little ring of different color in there. I should use my, use my little, uh, <laughs> this little thing. This sketchy little piece of loveliness. Alright, make sure the cap's on there good. It worked. Took away that ring of wrong color, which I couldn't do by shaking it by hand. Cool. This thing's sketchy though. I wish I would have made it to where you could fit the cap down in there. I mean, if that cap comes off, <laughs> oh my, that would be ugly, ugly, ugly. That would be a complete nightmare mess. All I had to do is make that thing a little, like another inch deeper. And you could have turned it around and put it down in there with a cap in there. That thing wanted to save a buck, I'm guessing. So far, it's okay though. As long as I can get the cap on there good, it should be alright. All right, let's do our little helmet. Ooh, got that really watery. Medium-y. 
Maybe a me. Skin's kind of dry. I guess I can do it. Eh, pain in his ear. It's all right. I'm end up going over the skin again anyway, and the helmet again. Rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. <clears throat> Some of this off of here. I don't want it to fill in those nettings too thickly. The netting show. Get it on there too thick, and then you'll see the netting. There we go, that's a lot better. Ooh, that's the spot now. Okay, let's see if I can wash that part off his ear real quick. Not, I don't really care. It made it worse. Way too much water on that brush. <laughs> Ew. Now he's got a zombie face. What in the heck? Oh, I see. I just took the paint off. All right, we'll put some more back on there. Easier than pie. Well, pie's not too easy, I suppose. But easy peasy. I should go over it all with skin anyway while I got it here. Give it a second coat since it's semi dry. Hmm. That one's looking cool. Uh, let's see, let's do his trouser, as the British would call it. Trousers. In America, we call them pants. Or trousers, depending on who you are, I suppose. I keep the coffee intake up. Keep me going. Where is my friggin' notes? I will get my notes. I think they're in here. Where's my notes? I got all written down. We're gonna do the trouser. And we will use. U.S. Field Drab. No, it's not U.S. Field Drab. This is. Let's use our handy dandy little thing again. Get that on there real good. And this thing comes off too. So yeah, there's all kinds of things that can go wrong with this thing. And I'm down here just to take the flies off. Okay. Oh. 
Got in there good, holy cow. In case you don't know, it's a green stuff world. I did a video on it when I first got it, and that paint came flying out the end. So I didn't put it in there. Well, I tried putting it in the cap first. And I was like, ah, oh, that's probably ain't gonna work, but I'll do it anyway, and then went flying. Ridiculous. Then I realized you can't use it that way. Okay, it's US Field Ray album. That does mix up the paint pretty good though. Looks a lot better than it did a minute ago. Whoa. Okay. Want that much. too far not that it really matters get up under that batter or battery wire cutter thingy pouch It's a nice color. I like it. Greenish brown is really cool. I like that. U.S. Drab. U.S. Field Drab. Probably why I like these army guys a lot because they're a lot of my favorite colors <laughs> always are used. Earthy. Browns, greens. Okay. That looks cool. Getting there. Um, can't really do a shirt yet. We'll do his boots. much as I can without hitting wet paint. Boots are, according to my list, Saddle Brown. Saddle Brown. Let's give that a whirl in our little thingy. That's a little better. It's not quite as fast. You can adjust the speed, but I don't know how to do it. I know it's like different button presses, but I don't know. It kind of only does it when it wants to. Shit. <clears throat> yeah, 
that. Got a split cap. Damn pain in there. You put it on too tight. And it... I'll put some green stuff over it. Seal it in or some super glue. Uh, yeah, I was going to shake it, but that's not a good idea. Have to get that fixed ASAP. Um, suppose I can use this medium right here. A little bit of color in it, but not enough to ruin my color, I don't think. Yeah, that's a beautiful brown. Wonderful brown. Okay. Let's do these boats. Anything else that Sal Brown was for? No. Just the boots. Hmm. Weird. The green seeped down from his helmet into his eyes and kind of gave it a shaded look. Looks kind of cool. Dark eyes, just kind of shadowed eyes. All right, it's starting to come together already. Um, what else can I do? I think I'll paint that gun all black. No, I'll, I'll necro cloak. I'll necro cloak it just for starters. I gotta remember to get that saddle brown cap fixed. I want that drying out on me. I gotta do that as soon as I get this gun painted. I'm gonna turn this off. Get that fixed somehow. Probably just put some green stuff over the top of it. I've done that with other ones. It's not the first time. Seal it up with some green stuff. Super glue to make a bigger mess than I want it to. Could get down in there. My luck it caused some issues. Just gonna paint the whole gun with this necro cloak. Worry about everything else later. Just get a base coat on it.
Okay. It's got a Necro Cloak base on it. A little more watery than I wanted it to be, but that's all right. As long as it doesn't cover up anything. That I don't think that triggers hollows. So that's okay. I thought I had it all filled in, but it's not hollow. So. It's more like a wash I put on there. That's cool. A lot of work. We'll be just fine. Alright. Um, I'm going to put a little bit on the knife handle up here. Just got a bayonet up here on this backpack. Anything else I can do? Um, go to the very top of the canteen cap. Um, Good, I'm gonna get off now. Fix the saddle brown cap that I screwed up. I'll let the paint dry and I'll come back and uh, we'll do some more. Last look before I go. He's starting to come right along here. Got pretty far for a few minutes, 20 minutes or so. All right, I'll see you when I come back. Bye-bye.